do you feel that people still kind of look at mastering as being kind of a mystery? Like, why do we need to get our project mastered? Bit. Yeah, I do think some people don't understand. You know, I get some people that say, I'm told that I have to have my album mastered, so here it is. And they don't even know what's going to happen. Or, and then there's some people that think I can do... Like, I've had people say, can you reduce the reverb on the drums? Or can you add some effects to the backing vocals and mastering and it's like no it's like i can't I, it's not it's not where you do that part of the pro you know it's it's baked into the mix so i get some people that don't understand what it is and i do get some people that sort of overestimate you know what can happen in mastering like they think they can record and mix their album themselves for the first time and then send it to me and it's going to sound like a world-class album and you can only do so much in mastering you know like even the greatest mastering engineer of all time can only do so much with what they're given you know mixing and re recording a production is really where the big stuff happens i kind of equate it to like um photo touching or, or color correction for video it's like you can't change what's there you can only just make sure it's presented as nicely as possible like framing a photo or retouching a photo, enhancing the photo. Um, but, you know, you're not going to make... Um, it's, it's not a super transformative process for the most part. We do have a, a nice uh, calculator on, on the website if where you can enter the songs and the lengths and it'll give you a kind of an estimate. Yeah, that's, that's something that's really great about mastering is it's very predictable, like the amount of time it's going to take me. That's something that producers and mix engineers probably couldn't do because... Um, you know, to mix a song that has acoustic guitar and vocals versus mixing Bohemian Rhapsody is going to be a much different amount of time. So you can't really put that on your website. You know, the, you got to know the scope of the mix to know how long it's going to take. But mastering, it's honestly, you know, if a song has acoustic guitar and vocals or is a rock opera, it's going to take me about the same amount of time to master it because I'm just working with the stereo mix. So, I mean... I'm not getting in there and putting effects on backing vocals and, you know, EQing violins versus drum. You know, it's like, there's only so much I can do. And honestly, the acoustic stuff is sometimes more time intense because you can hear all the clicks and pops and thumps and um, stuff that you may want to clean up and get out of there. Um, the only time things go fast, because uh, I've had people ask me, you know, this... Can you master my album? It's only acoustic guitar and vocals, or only piano and vocals, and that honestly takes just as long as a rock thing. The only time it goes a little faster is when there's no vocals. Vocals are just challenging because they present all sorts of problems with sibilance and. You've done like a, a a ton of major label stuff. What what are some of the the major label projects that you've worked on? Yeah, replacements have been a fun to do those box sets. You know the, the deluxe versions because they dig up a lot of bonus tracks and live shows. Um, and then you get to remaster the album. Um, Ed Stasium just remixed the Tim album by The Replacements, which is kind of a fan favorite for the songs, but a lot of people didn't love the mix. It sounds very weird. And then it even got it got even weirder in the original mastering, so Ed did a good job of remixing that. But um, that's for Rhino Records, and, you know, did stuff like En Vogue and Shania Twain. And, uh, I saw the New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I didn't even know they made that record in 2008. Um, it was like a comeback album. Um, you know, they had like Lady Gaga, who I don't think was super well known at the time, uh, and a lot of big artists on that. I don't know. You'd have to look at the website. Uh, Jellyfish is kind of a, you know, most, not a household name, but most musicians and engineers know Jellyfish. That was a cool one. 